Kickboxing Insider Interview with Amir Mansur The most feared heavyweight in the world by Ken Hisner from New Jersey and trains in Philly is Amir Mansur the most feared heavyweight in the world Mansur, 2321-16 We keep hearing about Povetkin and Ortiz challenging the lone American champion Deontay the bronze bomber Wilder but both failing their drug tests. Now Wilder is giving the only opponent to go the distance with him whom he won the title from in Haitian Bermain Stivern. This is a rematch but Stivern HASNT had a fight in two years how has he kept the number one status in the WBC by his promoter Don King Mansur is currently 2321-16 and won his first 20 fights and was in a total war with two-time cruiserweight champion Steve USS Cunningham, 266, losing what I thought was not the best of decisions. Rematch never happened. He lost his USBA belt and an IBF rating. Cunningham goes on to lose to a pair of unbeaten Polish heavyweights and in his most recent match returned to the cruiser division. At least he got the chance at those Polish fighters. He got shortchanged against Tyson Fury in the UK. Both Manser and Cunningham whom I know personally are both good people. Some seven months after the Cunningham fight in late 2014 Manser does away with Fred Cassie, 182, in seven rounds who gets to fight Chris Ariala but Cassie into a draw then he loses to Dominic Brazil, Huey Fury and Yarrell Miller. All unbeaten and all getting in the title picture. Fury recently lost a disputed decision to WBO champ Joseph Parker. Brazil goes on to fight Manser and gets beat up for five rounds but lands one lucky punch putting over 30 stitches into the tongue of Manser. On this win Brazil gets a title fight with Anthony Joshua and of course gets stopped. Mansur's people couldn't get a rematch then or now with Brazil. After the Cassie win Mansur has nothing going in the big picture so he returns to the city of Philadelphia where he trains and defeats up and down popular Philly fighter Joey Tank Daiko, 1432, for the PA title. Then he gets another giant with an unbeaten record in Gerald Washington, 180, and has to settle for a split decision draw. This fight was all his but two of the officials DIDNT think so. In 2017 Washington gets a title fight with Wilder and of course is stopped. Then stopped again against Yarell Miller who is getting built up like he is the American boxer to watch but looks more like Buster Mathis Manser has a year to recover from such a serious injury and does he come back with a stiff no way. He goes into the hometown of former WBA contender Travis Kaufman 311 on Kaufman's father's promotion and defeats Kaufman over 12 rounds for the PA title again along with the WBC US NBC title in which was his last fight in March of 2017. I've got more belts than anyone out there and still can't get a big fight, said Manser. He's won the World Boxing Foundation Intercontinental, Interim WBO NABO, IBF North American, World Boxing Federation Intercontinental, USBA, PA, and USNBC belts. Seven belts and what has it got him he is managed by Joe Hand, Sr. and promoted by Pelts Boxing's J. Russell Pelts. Mansur only appears once in the world ratings at number 15 of the WBO a belt held by Joseph Parker of New Zealand. Brazil is number 4 number 7 in the WBC IBF. Pavetka number 7 and Luis Ortiz number 9. The latter two flunk drug tests and are still rated that high the Jamaican out of the UK Dillian White 211 is number 6. There was talk of me getting rated and fighting White. Manser said, well, I'm rated so where's the White fight? White is number 3 in the WBC and calling out while there with a fight for the WBC silver title next for him. Others between number 9 Ortiz and Mansur are who are they Carlos Takam who just lost to Anthony Joshua is number 12. Two Asian boxers Kaitaro Fujimoto who HASNT fought out of Japan or any contenders is number 8 and China's silver medalist in the 2018 Olympics Jile Zhang is number 11 and managed by Dino Duva. You know neither of them will fight Mansur. At age 45 Mansur has the body of a 30-year-old and features of a Marvin Hagler look-alike at heavyweight. He came back in 2010 after a nine-year absence. He is talked about locally of being the most dangerous heavyweight in the world and none of the contenders want to risk about with him. On paper he is 321 in his last six fights and still no fights in the past seven months Manser took the time to answer some questions about his future. Can HISSNER you take on two young giants in Brazil and Washington and they have both gotten world title fights since then? How does this make you feel Amir Mansur it's embarrassing because you know it's not fair but what can you do about it it's humiliating as a boxer and as a fan. Ken HISSNER you have collected seven belts along the way but still never a title chance at that eighth belt for the world title. How do you figure this one out Amir Mansur I can't figure it out.
Maybe someone at the top dose and like me. NHISSNER who should you be fighting Amir Mansur top 15 contenders should fight each other, not someone not rated. NHISSNER I look at the ratings and CBJ Flores number 11 in the WBA due to what he was at the recent Newark, New Jersey show working for the network and looks about 20 pounds overweight. Do you think he'd ever fight Eufreso Quendo number 3 in the WBA when has he HASNT fought in over 3 years he and former champion Shannon Briggs both your age were to fight for the vacant WBA title until Briggs got hurt. Did you get a call to replace him Amir Mansur no but we called and said we would replace Briggs. Ken HISSNER now Joshua defeated Carlos Takam of France who had lost to both Parker and Povetkin. It seems if they lose they still get a shot docent at Amir Mansur yep exactly man. Ken HISSNER now Wilder is defending for once against his number one contender the man he took the WBC title from Stivern. Only man to go the distance with Wilder but HASNT fought in two years. Sound like more politics Amir Mansur, how is he number one and HASNT fought for two years Ken HISSNER have you had any offers from your promoter and manager Amir Mansur I can't even get a reasonable fight. I've had two fights offered this year. One on a five-day notice for pennies and another on a three-week notice for not pennies but not enough to go to another fighter's country where you know you have to knock him out to win. Ken HISSNER who works your corner Amir Mansur Danny Davis who also discuts Calvin Davis and Dave Sewell. Ken HISSNER thanks for taking the time to answer the questions and thanks for always being reachable. Amir Mansur I'm going to continue on my mission to be heavyweight champion of the world and I am not going to quit trying. Leave a comment.